Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, Man Bike, coming at you guys with more Atlanta Falcons news. You already know what to do. If you're new to the channel, go ahead that subscribe button. Tell your friend to come chat Falcons football with your boy as well. Let's join the Mad Mike membership. $199, $599, dollars $9 Whatever you decide to help your boy become the number one source of Atlanta Falcons news here on YouTube, all right? So, let's get straight to it, man. Um, the first news um, out of the, well, surrounding the Atlanta Falcons. Well, not directly, you know, the Atlanta Falcons, but I think this is newsworthy. Um, Luke Keekley has officially entered the retired reserve list, uh, which means his career is officially over. Uh, as of right now, Luke Keekley's career is done in Carolina. There's some speculation that he will definitely um, try to become one of the coaches, Co join the coaching staff in Carolina. I think this is a good move for them. Um, they are definitely in a rebuilding stage. Uh, he can kind of uh, add uh, leadership, some veteran leadership to that team. They're definitely going to need it. I don't think there will be a very good team this year, um, even with uh, Teddy Bridgewater um, at the helm as quarterback. He's going to make someone in the neighborhood of $50, uh, $60 million. He signed a $60 million contract, so the contract was $30, $40 million uh, in uh, guaranteed money or whatnot. So um, I think this is a good deal for them, but Again, man, um, this is something that the Falcons, um, I just want to wish him well, man. Uh, wish him well on his career outside of football. He had some great games against our Atlanta Falcons. And, you know, even though we own the Carolina Panthers, um, he was definitely um, in the highlights. And in the highlights with the Julio Jones catch. And, uh, yeah, he destroyed this team. We destroyed the Carolina Panthers plenty of times, man. And, and like I said, we all these dudes, man. And uh, I just want to wish, <laughs> I want to wish him well in Carolina uh, in his new career. Um, also, NFL news: teams are not expected to be near camp uh, until training camp. So. Um, the Atlanta Falcons will definitely do uh, have some, you know, uh, they're going to have some uh, workouts and, you know, drills and whatnot. Um, but for the most part, man, you're not going to get a full crowd, a full team together um, until somewhere near the training camp as well as multiple teams. All right. This is this is the kicker. There will be no joint practices. So whoever, um, whenever they decide to lift this ban, um, the Falcons will not um, take on other teams such as the Bills. They had some things lined up with the Bills um, as well as the Dolphins, I believe. Um, but um, the this is, uh, I think this will be a blow. Um, but... At the same time, I think you just have to be careful, man. Even though you know there's not a lot of talk of COVID-19 right now, you don't want to go and you know totally dismiss everything. Um, you want to be careful. You want to go into the season healthy. You want to go in with healthy players, and this is just a smart way to do uh, to go about it um, by the NFL. And I think this is intelligent. Um, this is the best thing for not only for the fans. Um, but for the players, coaches, and all those who are, you know, involved with it. Uh, because, like I said, um, there has been a ton of issues concerning the COVID-19 uh, coronavirus. And, you know, being that it seemingly um, has, hasn't been talked about, it's definitely still a real issue. It's definitely something we should be worried about. And, you know, again, you just want to be safe, and I think this is the wise thing to do for the NFL to have some type of sports. All right, again, we have we've been absolutely miserable. I'm just gonna be real, man. I grew up on sports. You grew up on sports, and we need sports. Okay, so in order to have sports, we have to abide by the rules set 
in stone right now, not only by the, the NFL, but the country, the doctors and, you know, everyone who who pretty much, you know, who have kept us up to date on how to, you know, go about doing this thing the proper way um, and, and keeping healthy from COVID-19. So uh, there will be no joint practices for the NFL teams, um, but you know, expected these players to be uh, near training camp, uh, a full roster near training camp. So um, that's something to look forward to. Also, the new news. Um, this is something that I really love, man. And I'm just going to say this, bro. Like, my quarterback is the GOAT, bro. My quarterback is the GOAT. Matt freaking Ryan. All right, this is, this is why I love Matt Ryan. He didn't take half the damn day. He didn't take all day to post his thoughts on the Black Lives uh, Matter movement. Um, he issued a statement. All right, we, we, we got some quarterbacks out there. We got some players out there that just stay, they, you know, they, they support the, the black, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement and, you know, Blackout Tuesday movement. They just posted a picture. They said absolutely nothing, but not our quarterback. He issued a statement and it pretty much stated that, you know, he, he doesn't understand what it's like to be, uh, to live in a, in a, in a minority of black man's um life and, and have to deal with the issues that you know most black people have to deal with uh, most, most minorities have to deal with it being the target uh, for the police and you know our quarterback man look again this is why i love matt ryan man he doesn't shy away from a lot of you know social issues man he may not say exactly what everyone wants to say but he speaks on it and he spoke on it and he did it early unlike drew Brees, he just you know issues he, he posted a black picture black Lives matters and that was it all right and, and that's look i'm just going to be honest man that wasn't good enough for me but he not my quarterback fuck drew Brees, fuck the saints and i'm just going to keep it like that so uh, got to give up to Matt Ryan. Trey Young is out here doing that thing. Lloyd Pierce, he spoke on the issues from the Atlanta Hawks. And, and man, I really love what these guys are doing, man. So um, the next one is probably the final one. And this is something that I really wanted to speak on. And um, Alex Mack. Alex Mack stated and several players have stated that they do not want to play football without a crowd. And I'm with them. I don't want to watch football without the crowd. I don't want to watch the WWE right now. I'm a huge WWE fan, and it's just not the same without fans. It's not the same without people in the stands making noise, see the expressions on people's faces, you know, you catch a touchdown, and, you know, you know you made a great play. You know you made a great play, and you can't jump up and down. You can't throw the ball in the stands to, you know, you can't give a, a fan a T-shirt. I, 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 I can't fathom playing football, playing sports without fans. It, it is a terrible idea if the if the NFL would go about doing so this way. And like I said, man, I want to know what you guys think, man. Do you think this is a good idea for, you know, the NFL or anyone, to be honest, whether it's the NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, to play the game without sports, all right? I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's a terrible idea, and it's going to take away from just the excitement, all right? I don't want to see Julio Jones make a spectacular catch, and I don't hear, you know, the crowd cheering. I don't I don't hear, you know, you know Dan Quinn. I don't see Dan Quinn on the sideline, you know, jumping up and down, screaming. I don't – I, I want to see the emotions. I want to feel what the crowd is feeling. I, I want to see, you know, how the defense responds in, 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 you know, hostile crowds like Seattle. You know, going to Seattle, hitting that 12 band, and these guys, the fans are going crazy. We are going crazy at home, and you just hear the crowd and feel the energy. and just It's just something about a crowd in sports that you can't, duplicated you just have to feel it and I, I need that feeling um for the nfl i need it for sports so i'm right there with alex man i, I know a lot of you guys have played sports as well 
And when that crowd is with you, when that crowd is loud, when the crowd, even when the crowd is silent, even when the crowd is silent, you get that feeling of some type of emotion and not being able to have that emotion with the crowd. I think this is something that the NFL, um, again, man, they, they got to be take it easy with the COVID-19. But at the same time, I just don't want to see football without a crowd. It's just not the same feel. But, man, um, that's just my opinion on it. I want to know what you guys think about this, man. Um, should the Atlanta Falcons, uh, not even the Atlanta Falcons, but the NFL play football without a crowd? Um, again, leave your comments below. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Join the Mad Mike membership. $199, $599, $999, whatever you decide. Your boy, Mad Mike is out, man.